a good job. Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Um, first, before this video gets started, I want to give you guys a quick disclaimer. I apologize for the quality of the next couple of videos, man. I'm shooting them on my phone. Um, as you guys know, just moved. So all of my batteries and my chargers and stuff for my vlogging camera are in one of the boxes. Um, and so I have to, you know what I'm saying, try to shoot the vlogs on my phone. So just bear with me. We'll be back to normal in a couple of days. But let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So without further ado, in today's video, we have Mishimoto oil catch can um, that goes on the PCV side of the motor for the 2016. 5.0 Mustang. Now, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and do the install. Um, the unboxing. I kind of already opened the stuff, so like, you know what I'm saying I was I was expecting my cooling reservoir to be there because of this issue. As you guys can see, my oil cap actually broke in the cooling reservoir, so I bought a new one to go ahead and replace it. Plus, it just looks better. Um, so step one is going to be removing all of these. Uh, not really bolts, but the lock-in tabs, the push tabs. We're gonna remove all of them, and then we'll take this plastic piece off. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the two 10 millimeter bolts off of the uh, radiator support. We're gonna remove this, install the Mishimoto uh, aftermarket one that actually holds the, cool, uh, the oil cast can to it. We're gonna remove the PCB valve hosing. Uh, and be replacing them with the Mishimoto oil catch cans closing. So let's go ahead and get started by taking this off real quick. All right, guys, once you get all the little push pins out, you should be able to just go ahead and lift up on it and take it out. And then you're gonna take out these two 10 millimeter bolts. Once you get those two undone, you're just gonna lift up on it. Now, you're gonna be taking this bushing out and reusing it on the new Mishimoto bracket. So, easier way to do it is literally just push your thumb in on one edge and continue to push through. Many unbearable hours later. <clears throat> and then you like that. And you're gonna go over to the box. And I believe it's in this box right here. I thought that it was up. And this is the new replacement bracket. So I'm gonna pop that open and then put this grommet inside of the replacement bracket. Make sure you get a good seal. You can go ahead and turn it uh, clockwise or counterclockwise after you've got it in to make sure that it's completely sealed. All right, guys, so once you get the grommet in, you're gonna go ahead, place it right back, and then put those 10 millimeter bolts back in. Turn them down just a little bit. Now you're gonna go ahead and work on installing your catch can. Coming back to the box, you're gonna go ahead and pull out the catch can. Now when you're installing your catch can, you're gonna go ahead and grab the two fittings that they put in this little mini Ziploc bag and just make sure that they're uh, snug. You know what I mean? You don't have to go overly aggressive with the tightening. Just make them snug. All right, you guys, so now that you got the fittings on nice and snug, you're gonna take these three Allen key bolts out. Um, set up the oil catch can now honestly this step is supposed to go before you bolt it down what that's why i kind of left them loose so i'm gonna go ahead and undo them take the bracket off and then bolt the catch can into the bracket and then bolt it back to the front bro what are you talking about man bro i'm out man honey it's tripping all right y'all so once you have the Mishimoto catch can installed to the bracket. This is what it's gonna look like. Then you're gonna go ahead and do that step I was telling y'all about uh, before. We uh, go ahead and slide it over the, there you go. Drop it down straight like that. And then you take your 10 millimeter bolts, 10 millimeter bolts, and you go ahead and tighten down. hidden like this right here you can loosen these bolts and readjust it so that's what we're about to do real quick now once you get the Mishimoto catch can in place what you want to do is go ahead and lift up on your engine cover get it out of the way and then remove the mish the PCV valve all you have to do is release the clamp by pulling this gray uh, latch right there and then you pull up 
do the same on both sides and the PCV valve comes out. Now once again, coming back to the box, you're gonna go ahead and grab your hoses. Now there's two of them. The one that goes directly to the, the passenger side, I guess you could say valve cover, goes, it's gonna be the one with 190 degree angle. So this one right here, you see it has two. So this is gonna be the one that goes on this end, all right? All right, y'all, so this hose right here is gonna go right there, and then you're gonna push this yellow clamp down to go ahead and secure it, kind of like you do the steel braided clutch line. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go tap in. But I'm gonna go ahead and connect that joint and then run the wire, I mean the wire, the hose out so that it'll meet right there. And you're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for this joint. All right, now once you get all the lines uh, ran, you're gonna put these hose clamps on and go ahead and tighten them down. They're both seven millimeter uh, bolts. Tighten them down just to their snug. Uh, you don't wanna go too tight and make a little kink in the hose. Um, and then you'll put the engine cover back on, the little rain guard back on, and cut the car on and the install's done. All right, y'all, and just like that, Mishimoto oil catch can is installed and I must say it looks really good. Let me go ahead and cut on the car and that'll be it for this one. Alright y'all, it's on the joint now. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> so with that being said, y'all, that's actually gonna do it for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you guys are running the Mishimoto oil catch can, let me know down in the comment section down below. I know they offer the Mishimoto. There's also a JLT and a couple other ones. So y'all go ahead and let me know what uh, oil catch can you're running on your car. As you guys know, I did this to Mamba. If you, you know what I'm saying, have been here that long. Um, and I'm going to continue to do it to every single one of my cars because it actually does make a difference. Um, they actually do, you know what I'm saying, do what they're supposed to do. So it's a very effective mod. You know, it's not going to get you any horsepower or torque gains or anything like that. But it actually will, you know what I'm saying, help the vehicle um, in the long run as far as, you know what I'm saying, health and the uh, longevity of the motor. So with that being said, man, like I said, it's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.